Blonde has hit number one with Netflix, according to Variety. And on Monday the film star, 34-year-old Anna de Armas, thanked her fans for tuning into the controversial film about the late Hollywood icon Marilyn Monroe. Thank you all for watching Blonde and all the beautiful messages, wrote the Cuban-born star. The ex of Ben Affleck also shared several grabs from the movie. Anna portrays Marilyn in the film directed by Andrew Dominic. Blonde received a 14-minute standing ovation when it premiered last month at the 79th Venice International Film Festival. The NC-17 film started a limited release in theaters on September 16, before it started streaming on September 28 on Netflix. Blonde is an adaptation of the 2000 novel of the same name by Joyce Carol Oates, 84. While critics have praised Anna's performance, there has been disagreement about whether the uncompromising, nearly three-hour film is an artistic tour de force or another cruel layer of exploitation perpetrated against the 20th century icon. Anna told reporters at the Venice Film Festival that she had to go to uncomfortable, dark and vulnerable places for the role. She was all I thought about, all I dreamed about, all I could talk about. She was with me, and it was beautiful, she said. Blonde also stars Adrian Brody as Arthur Miller, Bobby Cannavale, Julia Nicholson, Casper Philipson, and Michael Massini. The film has had some mixed reviews. Blonde is based on the Joyce Carol Oates novel of the same name and loosely recreates the many sad moments of Monroe's life. De Armas' performance has won raves. But some find the scenes cruel to Monroe. I had the extreme misfortune of watching Blonde on Netflix last night and let me tell you that movie is so anti-abortion, so sexist, so exploitative, wrote Steph Harold, an abortion researcher at the University of California, San Francisco. Cannot recommend it less. Do not watch. The abortion scenes in particular are terrible, but so is the whole entire movie. Harold added, it depicts Marilyn being coerced into her first abortion, screaming on the table that she's changed her mind, and then she hallucinates finding a crying baby in her childhood home, which is engulfed in flames. Justin Chang, film critic for the Los Angeles Times, wrote in his review, the film isn't really about Marilyn Monroe. It's about making her suffer. When a movie is truly shattering or devastating, tarries a residual sense of gratitude for what you've been through, the necessity of being shaken, noted Adam Naiman, film essayist and critic for The Ringer. Blonde is the kind of movie that brutalizes you for three hours, faints a sigh, and says, you're welcome. Well, thanks for nothing.